Now let's set up the numbering for the chapters, sections, and subsections. So to do this, I'll just put the cursor in the chapter title, then go to the home tab. And under the paragraph section, you want this button here, where it says multi-level list. And just click on this little arrow to the right-hand side, and then go down to this option here. So where you have heading one, heading two, heading three, and then one, 1.1, 1 1.1, 1 .1, 1 .1, etc. So just click on this, and then we can modify this numbering. So to do that, go to this button again. So you notice this one is in gray, but we want this one to the right hand side of it, and then this little arrow here. And to modify these settings, we go down to define new multi level list. So it's important you do these things in this order. So apply this numbering style first, then define new multi level list. Then we get this menu here. And just to show all of the options, I'll click on this more button in the bottom left hand side. So here we have a number of levels from one to nine, and each level is linked to a style. So level one is linked to the heading one style. Level two, linked to heading two. Level three, heading three. Okay, so I'll go back to level one. So these are the chapter headings. And then where it says enter formatting for number, before the number one, type in chapter and space. And then after the number, put a colon. And then where it says follow number with, just change this to a space rather than a tab character. And then where it says text indent at 21.6, set this to zero, and then click on set for all levels and make sure all these numbers are zero. Then level two, text indent set to zero, follow number with, again, I'll put this to a space. Then level three, so this number is zero, all these are zero, that's fine. And follow the number with a space once again. Then click on OK. Now we can see chapter one. And then 1.1 section heading, 1.1.1 subsection heading. Now whenever you do anything automated like this, so it's automatically applying numbering, it's good to make sure that it's working correctly. So if I insert another section here, I'll call this introduction. I'll just delete that line and then apply the heading to style. Then we just need to check, has the numbering updated correctly? And yes, it has. And just to make sure that the chapter headings are working correctly as well, let's put a new chapter in. and then apply the heading one style. And you can see that it's numbered at chapter two, and it's also inserted that page break before as well. So it ensures that every chapter starts on a new page. If I just zoom out, you can see what that looks like, and it's starting to look pretty good.